Vlog time, it's vlog time from Vladimir. Ooh, ooh, juicy music. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, all right, I'll stop. Q Mella, hi. Hello, folks, Vladimir here. Yes, it's been a while since I've done a video log of sorts. I've been rather busy creating my latest Minecraft map, which is Silent Hill 2. Which will be called A Letter from Silent Heaven. Now, I'm going to journey around while I talk. I'm going to fly over the map. I'm not actually going to show you anything. The map is huge. I have never. Let me just go back into F5 mode. There we go. Oh, no. Ah, oh, ah there we go. Now, I'm not going to give anything away by flying over here, this this will be fine. These locations are all part of the original game anyway, so there is nothing to be given away unless you've never played Silent Hill 2 before, but even this won't make sense to you. So let's fly over the lake. Here we have a nice little boat there. I'll come back to that later, I think. I'll be able to show that off, I think. Right, we'll, uh, we'll head off here. Oh, the damn world's still loading in. Never mind. This thing is huge, this map. Let's, let's load this in. Hold on, guys. That's better. There we go. There's actually a cutscene. Um, so we'll come back to this in a bit, because I think it's just a bit of fun. I have to link areas together, and I've I've made an in-game cutscene, so we'll come back to that. That's quite fun. So yes, the map. I've actually completed the damn thing. I didn't think I ever would. Um, it's been one massive project, that's for sure. And I'm kind of glad I've done it. I'm, I'm glad that I've been like a dog with a bone. And that I've actually stuck with it. It's been quite a challenge. I've, I've learned a lot. I've learned a heck of a lot that I didn't know before. I've learned all about uh, scoreboards and using them for redstone, wild wireless redstone, I should say. Um, so I've been very, very busy. It's It's been great. This has been a wonderful project. It's just taken so much time. As you can see, I'm actually pausing this every so often and just, you know, there's not jerks. I'm, I'm not, like, staggering or suffering lag or anything like that. And, <laughs> in the flying around, I'm just actually pausing like this and then just letting the world load in so I can carry on and show you guys around. So yes, I think I have now successfully managed to recreate the town of Silent Hill. Which I think I started this project back in, was it February, March time? Yes. February or March time, it was a uh, quite a huge decision to take to actually carry on with this after and scrap the original map. Um, but I'm glad I took that decision. I, I did it with Chronotide when I was developing Chronotide and I would, you know, I, I took the huge decision and just ripped the whole thing apart and started again. Um, and I was really pleased that I actually did that because I think the final product, when you when it's finished, when you players actually run around, they'll appreciate it a lot more. I know that that's what happened with Chronotide. That you know, I, I start the whole thing, destroyed it multiple times, um, and the end product was a lot better for the players uh, and for me as well as a developer, you know, the map developer. So this probably looks all very strange to you as I'm flying over the world. It's very, very odd. Um, yeah, this is this has taken 
a hell of a lot longer than I thought it would do. Uh, I'm pleased that it's done. I'm pleased that I've placed the last blocks down. Um, that I can actually say, hooray, the end is in sight. This is what needs to be done now, Vlad. So, what happens next then with this map? Well, I'm not going to let me Marvel release it just yet, that's for sure. I, I need to go around and put the spit and polish on the damn thing. Make sure that everything's working, give it a good test. Make sure that the command blocks teleport the players to the correct places. Make sure that all the encounters work. I have to fill this. This map is currently without mobs. I've had to work without mobs and now I will be placing those in. And going around and giving it the, the old spit and polish. Now, this boat here, this is what I was going to say, we'll have a bit of fun with this boat. Um, oh yeah, I have to be on the other side of the lake. Now remember that when, if you're playing this map, one of the rules of the map is to play it with tiny render distance, because without tiny render distance you don't get the effect of Silent Hill 2. Right, here we go. We're at the boat. I bring up my so my little arm so I can see what's happening. And let's see if this works, shall we? Right. Okay. So we shall switch the render distance to tiny. There. And we get the fog effect. Oh, yep. There we go. I've used invisible blocks to try and stop the players from leaving the areas that they're not supposed to be. But yes, here we go. Now we have a little cutscene there. So we've made it across the lake in our boat. Now I have to link lots of areas. There's a hell of a lot of areas that need to be linked and that's just one of the little links. Um, and I thought I'd share that with you guys. This is definitely coming along very well. Um, I, I'm kind of impressed with myself, to be honest. I, I didn't think I'd be able to do this. I didn't think I'd be able to get this far. Um, and I know I did a lot of video logs with Chronotide as I was developing it, and I've not really done a great deal with this. I got so many things to show you afterwards, so many things that I found out that I can put in videos and um, techniques that I've used, um, items that well, you can place around and they don't despawn and elevators with full working sounds, those kind of videos I'll, I'll, I'll get them ready and uh, of course they'll be released after the map's been released and, and tell everybody how I actually did it. So there's lots to see from this map. I've learned a heck of a lot. Um, and of course, as per usual, I shall pass it all on to you guys. Oops, let's change my render distance again. Here we go. Let me, how professional am I? Oh, I need it on far. There we go, you missed it. You misclicked it. Ugh, misclicking. Yeah. Misclicking is one of the things. Um, oh yeah, I'll also show you how to uh, loop your sounds as well that you're playing so it only plays once. Um, you don't have sounds overlapping, it's okay having a clock running and then playing a sound etc but you don't want those sounds to be constantly overlapping the previous sound being played so you need to play the sound once and then restart it so I, I'll show you how to do those there'll be a video of that after the mouse being released um, this is the final sections of the map this is why I'm sticking around here because this is where I'll be doing the spin and polish so to speak I'll be making this area work well, not work, but making sure I've not missed anything, making sure that everything does work, and then ultimately 
going around the whole map doing the same and it will take you from there so more of an update than a video log um, before I go what I will do is I um, I will say this I went to GemuCon um, earlier this year which was a huge inspiration for me um, for Silent Hill um, when I went to GemuCon in Nottingham in, in England this year um, Jesse Cox uh, was going to be there. Now, I, I've never met Jesse Cox. I've seen his videos, etc. I didn't know what kind of guy he was going to be. Um, and with the first day of game that we got there, we had to get in the elevator, the hotel it was being based in. And in the, the elevator, we waited there. We needed to get to the 10th floor of this hotel. And we waited in the queue the lift took forever there was only one ele well lift elevator there was only one elevator working so we waited for ages and ages then when it did arrive we got in and it was a bit crowded in there but we were okay and we got to about the sixth floor and the door opened and Jesse Cox was stood there and he got inside the the elevator with us and that was like oh my god Jesse's there and he was talking like anybody else he was just a normal guy everything else but when we got up to the eighth floor the door opened up and here was the inspiration for the map the door opened up and stood there was pyramid head from silent hell 2 the guy was dressed up as pyramid head he was pointing inside the elevator with a big massive sword hung off his arm and we just went I'm really sorry mate but it's full and pyramid head put his head down to the ground and went, oh. And that was <laughs> the inspiration for me to say, okay, it's time to get this project moving. I have witnessed Pyramid Head being sad, trying to catch a lift elevator, and here we go. This is where it goes. This is the map. So, we're looking for a Halloween release with this. I'm going to go all out. I will release this map towards Halloween, once it's had all the spin polish, once Eric's got all the cutscenes done, we've got the, the voices coming in already, Crystal's provided all the lines, that's the Crystal Crow by the way, and that's Eric Fullerton by the way, Crystal's uh, supplied all the lines for Mary and Maria, um, so the lines are done from that point of view. The skins are being done for the cutscenes. They're being created by the Welsh Pixie. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. When we get the cutscenes in, this map will be completed. Um, so we've got the rest of this month, next month, um, some of October to get the cutscenes in. Um, there's already positions in the map for the cutscenes. They're linked in, and so you be able to link them in the chat and then it will play and you know obviously go to your YouTube channel and play those particular videos um, and then it, the map will be complete but just at that point that we'll need to do the heavy testing to make sure that everything works okay guys I think I've rambled on enough this is a huge rambling this is me rambling. And I, guess what? I'm still rambling. So... I've been Vladimir. Thanks for listening to all my ramblings, as per usual. And I shall see you all soon. By the way, if you're going to Minecon this year in Florida, I will be there. So, hopefully, I shall see you guys at Minecon. I will be there in the flesh, so to speak. You'll be able to see me. I'll be able to meet people. It's going to be cool. I'm really looking forward to it. I've got two weeks across there. I'm going to go do all the parks with my family. Um, on the other big announcement, yeah, yeah, the other big announcement is... Okay, Elvin and I are going to get married. 
Uh, finally, after eight years, we figured that maybe we should. You know, it's one of those things. But no, just joking, guys. No, it's a good time to get married. We're gonna do it while we're across in, uh, in Florida. So, that's gonna be cool. Um, hell, Vina's just looking through outfits at the moment. Lots and lots of outfits. So, yeah. That's a real update. There you go. That's I added those bits right to the end. Wow. How crap am I? So, anyway, guys. For the second time in this ramblings. Yes, I am rambling. I shall see you all later. Thanks for watching, listening, putting up with me. Take it easy. And have a good day.